Intel and Hewlett Packard Enterprise, or HPE, have long been collaborators. And to find out more about what the two companies are doing and what we can expect to hear from them in the near future, I'm talking today with Scott Day, responsible for global telco and edge business development at Intel. So Scott, thanks for joining us today. Good to talk to you. Uh, can you give us a brief history of this partnership and why it's important for the industry? Well, first off, at the high level, Ray, uh, Intel and HPE have a 30-year history of helping customers digital, digitally transform their business. Um, and most recently, with the uh, advent of the network function virtualization evolution, you know, we've handheld many customers um, through the process, and we continue to do so. And I would argue the work between Intel and HPE and a broader uh, ecosystem of partners really set the stage for um, 5G and cloud native today. Um, today, what we're doing, uh, you can take a look at the HPE 5G core stack. This is a cloud native, fully integrated solution that is ready to deploy, as well as consumable on a pay as you go basis, built on Intel third generation Xeon scalable hardware. Um, from a VRAM perspective, um, you can count on the HP and Intel Verified Reference Configuration Program. These are foundational reference designs that are pre-integrated, optimized, tested to accelerate, uh, as well as reduce complexity and minimize the risk of VRAM deployments for operators. Um, from a forward-looking perspective, you know, we're, we're, we're taking all, we're building on all of that great work between Intel, HPE, and our collective ecosystem. And we're working to scale both VRAN and the standalone core. So a lot of great things to come. Okay, now some of the developments you mentioned there are bound to crop up in the very near future as Mobile World Congress 2022 is nearly upon us. What can we expect to see from Intel and HPE during the show in Barcelona? Well, First off, let me just say um, there's been so much change, tremendous change uh, in the past two years, both in the industry and how we live, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, as people, you know, being able to reconnect with colleagues um, at the most event, uh, important event for the industry is just an incredible opportunity. And quite frankly, Ray, seeing people in 3D is going to be pretty exciting. So uh, I hope to to meet you there as well. You're going to see you know, just to put it very directly, you will see our partnership on display at Mobile World Congress. There's going to be a mix of what we've been busy developing and quite frankly, deploying over the past two years, as well as a showcase of possibility thinking. Um, some of the things uh, that you're going to see, again, VRAN, major topic at, at Mobile World Congress. Um, you'll see HPE and Intel hardware underpinning some of the key VRAN solutions from the leading NEPs in the virtualization of the radio access network space, right? Um, and not only are you going to see, you know, concept solutions, but you're going to see solutions that are already in deployment. There's been a tremendous amount of learnings um, that HPE and Intel have reaped from actually deploying VRAN infrastructure at one of the world's largest tier one operators. I can't overstate the value uh, of these learnings. Um, but I will tell you that, you know, over the past two years, as we've been deploying, we've also been integrating a lot of these learnings into our people, processes, technologies, and solutions. So you'll see a lot of that on display um, at Mobile World. You're also going to see innovation in the core. You know, we've got a very unique demo um, between Intel and HPE that's leveraging AI for dynamic power management. AI, power management, that is a hot topic. Uh, in the industry today, and you know we've got uh, working consumable solutions for for the industry to to check out and uh, uh, and explore. And then on the edge side, you're also going to see innovation in private 5G. Um, HPE will have uh, recently announced for Mobile World Congress a seamless interworking solution across both cellular and Wi-Fi. You know, my view that is a pretty impressive. Um, uh, development uh, for the industry. And quite frankly, in the customer conversations that I have been, that's been an ask. So, you know, it's pretty exciting that HP and Intel and a broader ecosystem have been able to 
to collaborate on this, to deploy on HP's next generation hardware, for example, the Edgeline EL8000 converged edge system that's powered by third gen Intel Xeon processors. Um, it's just quite frankly going to be you know, very interesting to see and, and see the reaction from some of the folks in the industry when they get to Mobile World Congress and they see the tangible results um, from this collaboration between Intel and HPE. So you touched on a number of the hottest technology trends there. Um, how would a partner or customer leverage the Intel and HPE collaboration? So I would say, um, first and foremost, you know, obviously connect with Intel, connect with HPE um, and, you know, be prepared to innovate. Right. Um, Intel and HPE, I, I would say one of the, the biggest attributes to our relationship is the, the joint innovation, joint collaboration that we drive, not just with each other, but with the broader ecosystem and customers alike. So we're always looking for opportunities to jointly innovate, whether it's with an operator or with uh, the, the broader ISV community and everybody in between. Right. So um, connect with us at Mobile World you know, connect with, uh, reach out directly to HPE and to Intel or to me. Okay, great. Well, I mean, Barcelona is a perfect opportunity for that. And I'm sure there'll be plenty of great conversations had on the show floor there. Scott, thanks very much for joining us today and uh, see you in Barcelona. Absolutely. Thank you, Ray.